Hey guys, today we've got Kate in the studio and we haven't shot with her in over a year. It's been quite a long time. Um, she's just gotten back from being overseas herself and she's come to the studio to do a portfolio refresh shoot. And when we've looked at the clothing that she's brought in, most of it is black and she wants to do kind of like a full sun lighting um, with a black background. So Peter thought, oh, challenge accepted of shooting black on black with full sun and thought we'd better video this. So what I'm going to do with Kate today is uh, I am shooting black on black and I'm going to shoot it with constant light and I'm going to shoot it more like sunlight. So it's a little bit like the feel of a Peter Lindbergh when he didn't use a tent, when he used to just put black sails up in the desert and use the sunlight onto those. I sort of like that look, that nice cross shadow and yes it won't be for everyone's taste but there is a percentage of fashion photographers who are like this so that's why I'm doing this. Take a frame and let's see what we get. All right, black on black, she's just looking a bit bright there, but I need to pull off some of that light. So I'm just turning the power of the light down to her feet more. No matter what I do with this light, if I tilt it up there, or tilt it down there, the direction to Kate is exactly the same. All I'm doing, the direction of light is this, the power of the light is where it's pointed. So I want to keep my direction light because I want this um, sun cross shadow, but I'm trying to throw the power of the light off her, so she's still being lit, but I'm throwing the power down further. Now, once I change my exposure, and I have, she's quite a bit darker. See, that's looking much better. If you look at her face anyway, her with her minimal makeup that she's done, she's still darker in her face and her chest area, so that's just how she is anyway. I'm just gonna keep playing with this. I wanna have that full sun look. You'll see the difference between this frame and the previous one. See how dark her legs are, see how we've lit her legs up. Her face is actually looking a bit brighter there now. We've still got a little bit, it's just her skin color is lighter. So let's see the difference we get from the whiteboard onto her. But more light on the floor, more light on the bottom part of her. You see the white strip in her eyes? And see, we've definitely got white coming up into her face because we wouldn't have seen that white strip in her eyes, the frame, before. See, there's no strip in the eyes there. There is now. I want to do a bit more work yet. I'm going to bring this light even more straight down. I still want that sunlight look. But you'll see the shadow under her chin is much lighter now. Definitely, I've got a lot more room to move with my lighting now. That's popped her off nicely. I'll try and get a shot that I like now, and then I'm going to just do a little bit of work on the picture in post. Uh, more, a little bit more face and less, yeah, cool because that's what I'm gonna work on when I'm cool. That's really pretty. Eyes, it's more, just got my red channels going off a little bit high, but that's cool. We're going to go black and white anyway. I'm just playing with a couple of things. I'm taking my highlights down just a fraction. You'll see I brought up my shadow. So now I've filled in my blacks to get separation because we've got black gloves, black dress, black background. I want to make this so we can see the separation between the three without adding halos or lights. So Dehaze definitely puts that contrast back in. I'll pull up my blacks a little bit more and leave my highlights where they are sharpening. We shouldn't have sharpening on. Mm. Amount zero, that fixes that. I am finding a little bit with the stockings compared to the upper body is annoying me a little bit. So would I shoot it like this? No. So I've just answered my own question. Let's me ignore what the model wants. Yeah, for this picture, and this is something I, I do try and push two models depending on what they're chasing. The longer I go in the picture, the smaller Kate's head becomes. So if she wants to pick up modeling based on her face, she's failing by shooting full length. But if she wants to pick up modeling based on her body, she wants to have that extra height. So what sort of work do you want to get? E-commerce or beauty campaigns and covers and billboards? 
Yeah, right, so they don't give a rats about your ankle. All I'm doing is just doing a couple of test shots. I'm playing a little bit now. I'm happy I've got that separation. So I've got her black on black and separated off there nicely. It's got this nice Hollywood tone. Would you like your legs to be lighter or are you happy with being dark like that? We don't care. I see what you mean about the two-tone. Yeah. I think we could lose them. All right. And maybe the gloves too. I know you love for the glove, but <laughs> I, I think the gloves, the gloves were good for me to show how I could shoot someone wearing black gloves, a black dress on a black background. Mm -hmm. I've achieved that now. Mm -hmm. So maybe let's lose the gloves. And the stockings too? Yes, please. So I've just pulled away the white foam at the bottom to get much more contrasty shot that way a little bit. I think where she's standing, I'm really liking that. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm actually liking that black cut under her chin better. So I'm preferring whereas before, see how it's very soft. Even though I've done some settings to pull up, I still want to have this contrast. Their eyes, beautiful, beautiful. Think fashion, think Vogue. That's better. I like that. There, there, beautiful. Keep drifting. Cool, I reckon we can do a change. You wanna do a change to your next outfit? Cool. So I'm happy with this. I was sort of gonna to have to change the lighting, but I'm, this outfit's actually working beautiful with this black. Cool. Nice, nice. Can I do Yeah, you can go wherever you like. That's really pretty. Cool, cool. Eyes, yeah, remember? People want open eye shots. I know makeup artists love closed eye shots. And I know girls like closed eye shots only because they can't see the insecurity in her eyes when they're closed. <laughs> so you can say much more with your eyes. You can't say that with a closed eye. That's really cool. That's really pretty. Cool. That's really pretty. That's really pretty. Just that continual drift around that nice, nice. I'm gonna to have to punch up a little bit more in her face, but just the difference between her skin tone and the makeup on the face is just taking her a touch darker. That's pretty, that's really pretty. Cool, cool. Cool, cool. Who are you looking at? Who are you thinking about? That's better. And again, we're only chasing one killer shot. Like this is quite normal on a shoot that the iPhone picture of the computer screen is so much more important than the real thing. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it? Yes. Yes. This, this is pretty cool. And see, I don't mind this because if, look at the cheekbones, right? So this is gonna add to the next, her next shot should be the best shot of the day because she's now feeling good about herself. That shot just there, over your shoulder right there. That's cool. That's really cool. Now you can come do whatever you like. That's really pretty. That's really pretty. Look away, so useless. You know I'll never edit you to look away, so. Cool, that's better. That's really cool. Nice, that's better. That slow drift is a hundred times better. That's better. Look at her face now. So we've got a glow, we've got her cheeks sitting up nicely. Cool, cool. All right, do you want to wear the dress where you wanted to wear it? Oh yeah. Nice, nice. Nice, there, cool. I see what you're doing. Anybody who's watching will see she's checking out if she's got enough bum showing in each. The, you want the perfect booty ratio. Yeah. Cool. That's pretty. Eyes, all right, last couple, I just want the eyes. It's really cool, there, there. Cool. Cool. Awesome. Want to do a change? Yep. Cool. Now, she's trying to test me now because she's wearing white. Yeah, I'm ready. Cool, pretty, pretty, pretty. I've got my, 
Overexposure warning on, like I said, at 2.45, and it looks like I've got plenty of detail in the whites there. I can see all this. Yeah, that's, that's looking fine. I'm happy with that. Just take, take one tiny step backwards. Yeah, about there, cool, cool. So I'm just turning Kate up and down just by moving her, and I'm just watching my overexposures in my camera. Yeah, this again is also for the people that say I should be using a light meter. Uh, my overexposure warning is so much more reliable for me. I see straight away when I'm clipping and I can just tell Kate to step backwards or forwards till I lose it. Cool, that's really pretty. Yeah, go, go down strong, powerful. So stronger, wider legs and straight, try and go and get that planted feel. Does that make sense? And then tr try and have that sort of laser eyes, not too low with your chin. Like eye to eye, a little bit Angelina Jolie. Cool, that's really pretty. Oh, look, she smiled with Angelina Jolie. <laughs> yeah, I'm liking this outfit, but I, I want to work. Do you like the feel? Yes, it's All right. very strong. I need this to be stronger. Yeah. See the hands are a little, I want mm -hmm. them maybe up a little bit higher. Mm -hmm. And just, but yeah, fix that little bit of shirt there. I love the softness of the face, but with mm -hmm. the strength in the eyes. Mm -hmm. And once you come on point, you'll find that'll change your body shape as well. And yeah, that broken wrist like that with a slight kink in the fingers, mm -hmm. cool? Yeah, every now and then I'll see a shot or get a feel and I want to work that. That's really pretty, that's really pretty. Nice there, put the chin up is really nice. It's like, cool. there, beautiful, beautiful. Come up onto your toes just for the last couple and touch wider. Strong eyes, soft mouth, cool, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Stunning, 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 stunning. I reckon she's nailed it. So we hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did enjoy that and want to check out some other portfolio shoots that we have done, I will pop them up on the screen now.